Hey, what's going on, guys? Hello, everybody. This is Marvin. Amber and. And, and we're with, with the, the family. family. Oh. oh, all right, guys. We are here. We are back here at home uh, for another weekly installment of Date, Date Night, Night Fridays. <laughs> and we are keeping it strictly plant based today. Mm -hmm. um, my babe found a wonderful restaurant uh, called Udipi Vegetarian Cafe. Yeah. So it's an Indian uh, plant based restaurant that we're going to check out the food they got. Yeah, and if you've um, been following us, we've uh, gone to another um, Indian restaurant called Tandoori, yeah. which is one of our favorites. This is a little bit farther away from the house. Yep. And uh, what we like about the restaurant is that it is all vegetarian, so we don't have to worry about trying to pick anything out of our food wow. or anything like that. Um, they do offer a buffet through the week. I was hoping they had one for dinner, but they didn't, I understand, yeah. so we'll have to come back so we can take advantage of that. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we're about to run on in and have a, a lovely dinner. Um, uh, we're going to eat macaroni. Macaroni is not here. I'm sorry. I'm cute. Nope. Soup. Soup. Maybe soup. Mm. Maybe, maybe soup. Tomatoes. No. Um, spaghetti. Yeah. But well, anyways, guys, we are um, very excited to join you for this episode. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to be real light because we are still mm -hmm. a little jet lagged. Yeah, from very our trip. much so. Do you guys uh, see the red in the eyes? Oh, yeah. So we are just um, really tired. Yeah. And, you know, um, by the time you see this, it will have been uh, probably the second or third week in July. Mm -hmm. But, you know, not to somber the mood of this video, but it's just a lot going on in the it world is. right now um if you don't know that or if you've been living under a rock it's just just a lot of craziness going on yeah. and you know you just got to stay prayed up situations like this can kind of throw you off your normal routine yeah most definitely um, and we just it just if anything you know hug your loved ones a little bit tighter mm -hmm. um or tell people you love them mm -hmm. and just continue to stay prayed up and pray for the country uh, if you're not in america please pray for america we yeah, need it we need a lot of prayer you guys anything. it's just so much going on and yeah. um we know there's a lot of injustice in our world, but we also know that there are people that have um, accepted the call of duty to help in this country as well. So we know that, you know, everyone that has accepted that that job is not, um, you know, basically on the negative side, you know. Um, so it's, it's just very hard. It's very challenging. Um, ourselves you know being people of color and yeah. kind of seeing what's going on uh with our people and then seeing people that are taking matters into their own hands and you you understand the pain that people are feeling because we're all hurt right. but we realize that no one wins by you know taking matters into your own hands either way it goes yeah, yeah. You, just gotta, you just gotta let god fight the battles yeah. and uh at the end of the day he gonna get the glory Amen. so Amen. you know everything i don't believe in everything happens for a reason mm -hmm. but everything that happens always works out for the good Amen. of them that love the lord Amen. so and that's that's yeah. what we believe that's yeah. what we believe so yeah so anyways guys uh we appreciate you rocking with us uh we have mad love for everyone that's just been very supportive of what we are doing yeah. And uh, we'll check in with you a little bit. Let's go get some of this food. All right, let's go, baby. All right. Like Peace. Hello, you guys. So we made it inside of the restaurant. It's a small little cafe um, style restaurant. And um, what I really liked when we first came in was the table, how they have it set up with this nice design of a table mat right here. And this is their menu right here. I'm just let you guys see. It has very nice detailing right here. And it says pure vegetarian South Indian cuisine. So I wanted to share this with you guys. It reminds me of a material of a, a Bible that uh, we had growing up as kids. Very cool. Okay, guys, so we're just sitting here. Uh, we just ordered our drinks, water, and um, they brought us some complimentary uh, soup. Uh, I'm not, I didn't quite catch the name of the soup, but he did indicate that it was very spicy. So let me um, taste a little bit. It's got some tomato in it, so. Good though, it's got some kick to it though. Yeah, very good. Okay, cool. Liberty? I got one, and um, what? I'm, my food is not here. So I'm waiting on it. I'm like, like, um, I, I'm gonna get some, some, some. Okay. <laughs> 
Spice? Is this Babe Spice? What did he call that? I don't remember what it's called, but it has like, a, if you've ever had chicken tikka masala, it's that type of um, sauce and it has cheese. These are cheese squares with um, vegetables uh, mixed within it. Ooh. How's your food, Daddy? Very good. It's kind of like a potato of some sort, but it's a, it's a different looking potato. It's really it good. Delicious. Liberty? What I just noticed, you guys, was this plate or this um, bowl, I guess I should call it. Look at the detailing of it. It is so beautiful. Look at that. It's so nice. Very nice. Hey, guys. So we are done with uh, dinner. We're just enjoying some uh, Chick-fil-A kids ice cream cone. <laughs> it was, uh, you eating yours, <laughs> Libby? Me and Lib's chair. She had just gave her a little bit off the top since it's late. Well, we were in the mood for some ice cream. So, um, just, a, just in case y'all didn't know, Chick-fil-A's is one of the cheapest. We used to go to Wendy's in college yeah, uh -huh. for their Frosty. But that was 99 cents. Yeah. And then sometimes the frosting machine don't be working. That's true. So Chick-fil-A's is actually 85 cents if you get a kid's one. And mm -hmm. the kid's one is more than enough ice cream. It sure is. And it's really good. And it's it's like a solid, you know. Like yeah. you were saying with the frosting, sometimes we would go, we would have to always ask them, is it um, solid or is it liquidy or whatever? And, yeah. you know. So, anyways, we've just been here talking, you know, about the what's going on in the world right now mm -hmm. and you know we're just praying about some things personally uh as yeah. it relates to the family O. um should we talk about it or not? no i don't think not right now not yet so, okay, no. okay all right well there's a couple of things that we're thinking about yeah and um we just just literally um praying on the lord for a new new direction Amen. and yeah. what the next step in our chapter in our lives will be mm -hmm. um and so you know that's just you know what, what, in light of everything going on yeah but um yeah it's just it's just a really you know just a real heavy period like you black white or purple you you can't not feel that there's just something in the air right now mm -hmm. and just feel to feel a spirit of sadness yeah definitely um it's been kind of interesting a lot of our uh a lot of people that we've seen that have been of different mm -hmm. uh nationalities have, you know and it's not just in our mind no. <laughs> but <laughs> they've been a little you can just kind of tell when you when we walk into a room yeah. or like even just going into chick-fil-a right now you know it's just kind of like you know just just i guess it's just people wondering you know what some of us are thinking right yeah. now kind of like a um, silent conversation yeah what's the conversation yeah. that we're having with ourselves and we are talking yeah um and you know i would just tell you that you know we as far as amber and i we just want to see you know those in power hold people that think they're in mm -hmm. power accountable exactly and i think that's the frustrating thing is that there's no one paying for some of the injustices going on uh, in our community and other communities period you know like it would be for you know quote unquote terrorists yeah and so i think terror is 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 domestic as well as abroad mm -hmm. and you know we know if we if we think it's gonna be another osama bin laden Everybody, we throwing everything and they mama at that that person or that country or yeah. that organization, and I feel like we're not doing that for ourselves domestically. Exactly, and uh, you know what's interesting? Actually, Babe sent me a clip earlier today from um, many of you may remember the show um, A Different World, which is kind of like a spinoff of the, the um, Cosby Show, yeah. and it was a clip where um, two of the characters in the um, show African American, Wade. yeah, and Ron, I think was Ron. the name of the mm -hmm. show, yeah. And then there was two other characters that were um, 
Caucasian males and I don't I remember it from a while ago but the basically they were in jail for something that had happened look like probably fighting man. yeah fighting or something like that and they were going back and forth having a conversation about like the Caucasian men were talking about how the African American or African Americans in general how we always want to play um, the Caucasian men were talking about how yeah, one spoon that's the, it um, how African American people you know we always want to play the victim this and the other and yeah. stuff like that and um and the African American characters were talking about, you know, basically how, you know, we've been oppressed, this and the other. It was so crazy. And I, I responded back to Babe and I told him, I said, you know, what's interesting is that um, this was so many years ago when this script was the, written. The 90s. Yeah, this is the 90s. And here we are now, 2016, you guys. And it's the same conversation. Nothing has changed. Nope. So it was just so crazy to see that, you know, we're still having the same conversation. And so when people kind of, um, I think, make it as if, you know, like, it's, it's, this is... It's all in our minds. Yeah, it's all in our minds. This is not anything that's taking place. We're a place. post-racial society. Yes, it's just... We have a black president. Yeah. No. No, it's, <laughs> no. Not, it's not realistic, you guys. So... You know, like Babe was saying, you know, we're just seeking God for, like, um, we're just asking God for clarity, you know, because, I mean, it's just, so, at any rate, you guys, um, it's just a little bit, we just want to talk about, like yeah. Babe was saying, it's just been really, really, really difficult, uh -huh. you know, and we're believers, and we love God, and, um, But, yeah, yeah I mean, we, I just feel like, as a, as an African-American male, you know, it is pretty, I, I can't help but say that, you know those gentlemen look like me I mean they do a lot of them and so you know I've always had a, a healthy level of fear when it came to law enforcement and I'm one of the guys I got a spotless record never been arrested never been to jail never got anything more than a parking ticket mm -hmm. and I, if I'm still fearful I can only imagine what yeah you know, your average person that may have been a felon in the past yeah. or had a record of some sort from when they were younger, how they feel dealing with law mm. enforcement. And, you know, this is just the stuff that video cameras and smartphones are catching. Yeah. You know, what about the stuff that we, you don't have enough time to pull out your cell phone and see it? Exactly. You know, and it goes unspoken and it's your word against the police officers. And like I said, you know, I hate when a lot of us have to preface and say well this isn't an anti-cop message or yeah. this isn't a, a racial issue and I'll try to make it like a race card let me tell you something I'm anti bad cops okay I'm anti bad cops, cops and we all should yeah, be punks th yeah. those are the punks yeah. those are the thugs because we get this label on a lot of our mail that's always yeah. how the news does it they always yep. make the the victim that that can't defend themselves because they're dead exactly makes them like oh well look at their past and look at what they were they've got they've got 17 convictions and blah blah they're ex felon blah blah mm -hmm. blah no one deserves to die unless you get the death penalty you don't deserve to die yeah so yeah and you know. I totally agree I mean I feel that um you know on the other side of what Bay was saying we know that there are so many um, officers out there you yeah, know that not. are um, they have lived up to their oath and are really here um <laughs> please subscribe to the family oh and